Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today, in this video, we will study the volume of sphere and hemisphere. Manas, this time I will surely hit a six. On saying this, Thomas swung the bat and the ball fell straight into a vessel filled with water. Oh no, Thomas, look, your six has spilled a lot of water on the table here. Now, who will wipe it? I will wipe it. If you answer one of my math questions. Ha <laughs> ha! Done! Can you tell me what is the volume of this ball? <laughs> this is very easy. Let me tell you the answer through mathematics. That means it's math time! First, we will fill this pot once again completely with water. Also, we will take a big container in which we will keep this vessel. And we will also need a measuring cylinder. Now look, I will put this ball carefully in this pot. Again? <laughs> yes, don't panic. As you can see, some water has come out of the vessel and collected in the big container. Now can you tell me its volume by carefully pouring the water filled in this container into this measuring cylinder? It's about 180 milliliters. Alright, now look Thomas, the radius of the ball is 3.5 centimeters. Can you find the value of 4 by 3 product of pi and the cube of the radius of the ball? Absolutely. See how I solve it quickly. Hey, what is this? This is equal to 179.67. That is approximately 180 milliliters. Why so? This is because the ball occupies some space in this vessel. The amount of space the ball occupies in this vessel is the amount of water spilled from the vessel and deposited in the container. And as you know, the space occupied by any object is equal to its volume. Therefore, the volume of the ball is equal to the measure of the water spilled from the vessel. And look Thomas, the ball is spherical. And you have just seen that its volume is equal to the value of the product of 4 by 3 pi and the cube of the radius of the ball. If we assume that the radius of a spherical ball is r, then we can write the formula of volume of sphere in this way. Hey, wow, Manas! The hemisphere is half of sphere, is it not? This means that we can write the formula of volume of hemisphere in this way by dividing the volume of the sphere by 2. Where R is the radius of the hemisphere? <laughs> oh, wow! Let me quickly write both these formulae in the mathematics formula book. Look, Thomas, I have given you two new formulae along with the answer to your question. Come on, now let's go back to our world. And because you lost the bet, you have to wipe the water on the table too. <laughs> in this video, 
we studied the volume of sphere and hemisphere. We learned 1. What is volume? 2. How to find volume of sphere and hemisphere? In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this. Thank <laughs> you.